And they kick away. And Amraka G was slow to go in Dreams End, not that well away. Restructure with early pace. Rocky Oasis, the rails. Prince Farbar and uh, Russian music down the center of the track. Kashani Yellow Cap racing prominently. And uh, Rocky Oasis not really helping Richard Quid, not really settling as they go to the first quarter mile. Out on his own down the center is uh, Russian music, and uh, that's probably just the lead up to running the rail in the hoops. We've got uh, Prince Barbar, the blue jacket, still throwing his head about Rocky Oasis. Yellow cap, that's a shiny. So on the near side, we see Prince Barbar and the blue of Rocky Oasis, the yellow cap, a shiny. The red cap, that's restructure, the maroon jacket, Farazan. A black cap, just shaded, is Ali Royal. Pink cap, Wixem, stripes, these behavior. Blue and yellow is uh, Amrak Ajib, and also at the back is Dreams End. But the lead up is on the far side, and that's uh, Frankie de Tori, and his mount is Russian music. So they've come past the halfway stage shortly, down to the four furlong marker now. And next to the rails, it's Prince Baba, and uh, tracking that one, Rocky Oasis, the yellow cap Ashani. On the far side, we've got uh, Russian music. And they come down to the three furlong marker, it's Prince Baba, yellow cap Ashani, blue cap for Rocky Oasis. Uh, trying to go with them, but not really succeeding is Russian music now, as they come down to the two furlong marker. And it's Prince Barbar, Rocky Oasis, Ashani, Black Cap. Here comes Ali Royal striding through horses now. Come down towards the final furlong. Wixim's going with it. They've got a furlong and a half to go. And it's the Black Cap, Ali Royal, into the front now. To Wixim and Ashani behind these. Restructure, Farazan strikes to pick up. But down inside the final furlong. And it's Ali Royal for the Cecil Fallon combination. Up towards the line. It's going to go to Ali Royal. The work watches are right. Ali Royal takes it. Wixim is second. Into third and finishing with a flourish. Amrak Ajib. Then behaviour, Ashani, Dreams and Farazan. Followed by restructure. Prince Barbar, Rocky Oasis dropped right away. But I think we can forgive him that run. And uh, last of all was Russian music. Ran two free at the centre of the track. The 11 to 4 favourite then has obliged in this Earl of Sefton Stakes. That's number three on the card. Ali Royal. Uh, Green Bay Stables, yellow and white stripes successful here. This one bred by Charles Wacker III, trained here at Newmarket by Henry Cecil. And a second meeting, at, a winner at the Craven meeting for the Fallon-Cecil combination. Waited, bided his time off the pace, asked him to go, and then he went whoosh. Second horse home is Wixin with a pink cap under Pat Hedery. And third is number four, Amrak Ajib, staying on very well indeed. But our winner is Ali Royal. Ali Royale back down from three to one, returned the 11 to four favorite. Beats Wixim at nine to one, with third the strong finishing Amrak Ajib, a 12 to one chance. And Ali Royale, the ninth favorite in 27 runnings to win this, but the first since Clive Britton's Terraman won it for the second time six years ago at seven to two favorite. And other favorites in the 80s, media star guest, legend of France, Carla Glow and Ella Manamou. And Henry Cecil wins it for the sixth time. Reprimand in 89, and before that, Legend of France and Ivanhoe, and in the 70s with Hawaiian Sound and Gunner B. And Kieran Fallon, he chose right. He went for Ali Royale over Farris, and spot on, Kieran Fallon returning on the 11 to 4 favourite, Ali Royale. Well, a lot of people will be hoping that uh, this Colts Full Sister does exactly the same in the 1,000 guineas in just over two weeks' time. And if she runs as well as he's done today, she'll take a lot of beating because this was a smooth performance here, quickening into the lead on the bridle in the dip, and then under a couple of smacks, John asserting up the hill. Yeah, I was talking to South Cherry Downs, who's responsible for buying this horse earlier, and he said the day he doesn't sweat is the day that he worries. And he's got a smashing attitude towards his race in this horse, really quickens up well when you ask him gets his head down in the right position and uh, a, a shine there under brett thought i thought he ran well for a long time farazan didn't get the best of runs in behind maybe wants a little bit further and uh well i'll come in just out of the picture of wixom and uh, also amrak Ajib, but a good performance for this horse he finished up last season in really good form and he's carried on in the same vein and i think that kieran fallon will be delighted that he's won. Nothing worse than having to choose between two horses, and they might be a uh, fair bit of difference at home, but you never actually know what's going to happen on the race course, and you can't get closer to the action than that shot without actually being on board. <laughs> 